holy crap, it's New Year's Eve and I haven't made any New Year's resolutions yet. How am I going to know how much I failed in 2014? I mean, the research shows what everybody already knows. Pretty much nobody can keep a resolution. Pretty much. Uh, my friend Richard Wiseman has done some research on this. And in one of his studies, he found that 12% of people were able to keep their New Year's resolutions. And because of that research, he was able to offer some advice uh, for those who do hope to keep their resolutions. Things like only make one resolution at a time or set goals uh, that are attainable um, and measurable. Set goals where, where you can actually measure your success. And of course, don't wait until the last minute. Plan ahead. Crap. But other research definitely supports the idea that very few people can keep their resolutions. Just a few weeks ago, researchers at the University of Scranton published some stats that showed 8% of people were able to keep their New Year's resolutions. That paper also included the top 10 New Year's resolutions for 2014. And most of them were pretty obvious, things like lose weight, quit smoking, but my favorite was learn something exciting. And considering that was the, it was in the top 10, I figure that some of you in my audience must have made that resolution as well. So with that in mind, allow me to help you out. This week, scientists announced that the sun has flipped upside down. Okay, not, not the sun, the sun, but the sun's magnetic poles have reversed. They've flip-flopped. And that is pretty exciting, I think. Um, the uh, heliosphere, as the sun's magnetic field is known, extends far beyond the sun itself, um, beyond Pluto even. And it has an influence on even our planet. It is one of the things that protects our planet from uh, high energy particles that can be released from violent episodes happening elsewhere in our galaxy. So there you go. You can even go on NASA and check out a cool video animation showing the uh, the poles reversing over the course of several years. So there you go. Pretty exciting, right? Cross that one New Year's resolution off your list. As long as you're watching this after January 1st, of course, if you're watching this the day it came out, then you're going to have to learn something else exciting tomorrow. Sorry. Anyway, normally I don't make resolutions, but uh, except for one, I, I usually make a resolution that is to be awesomer this year than compared to last year. And every year I've, I've pretty much done it, not to brag, um, except for that, that one year I went to Bible camp. But other than that, stellar record. But last year, I actually did make traditional resolutions because it just, it was handy. Uh, one, I did decide to exercise more. I have really severe back problems. And so it's difficult for me sometimes to stay active, especially after a really bad injury a couple of years ago. So I decided to really focus on my health this past year and it's worked. I've been feeling a lot better and I have more muscles and I can run a 5k every day if I want now, which is pretty cool. Um, almost every day. Today it's like negative five Fahrenheit. So no. Um, but my other resolution at the end of 2012, I saw a headline referring to a study. Uh, it was a poll that showed how many books the average American read in the previous 12 months. And I remember clicking on the article thinking, oh, this is going to be this is going to be pretty embarrassing. Um, but it turns out that the average American read a lot more than I thought. For instance, for a woman in her 30s like me um, who had read one book in the course of the year, for those women, the mean number of books they read was like 16. Is that right? Is it 16? Yeah, 16. <laughs> uh, and that... That's crazy. I, I remember thinking, did I read 16 books in the previous 12 months? 
No, I definitely did not. In fact, I um, I read much, much fewer than that. And don't get me wrong. I read a lot. I read all day long. I read mostly articles uh, and essays, things about science and skepticism, books about science and skepticism and secularism because of what I do on YouTube and also on my podcast, Skeptics Guide to the Universe, and on Skeptic and on Popular Science. So basically I was reading for my job. And so I made a resolution that for 2013, I would read nothing but fiction and I would try to read one book a month at a minimum. And I did it pretty much. Uh, I did cheat on the all fiction front. I read a few nonfiction books, but I did uh, read at least a book a month. If you're curious what I read, you can go onto my Goodreads profile and see reviews of most of the books I read. And so that made me feel pretty good, actually. I made two resolutions and I stuck to them. So with that in mind, I'm, I'm feeling really optimistic. I decided I would make resolutions again this year. Uh, yes, they are last minute, but pretty sure I can do it. Number one, read even more. This year, I would like to try for at least two books a month uh, or one George R. R. Martin book. I think that's fair. Number two, run even more. Even though it's bitterly cold outside, I've ordered warm leggings from the internet. Number three, make videos even more. Uh, I promised my Patreon subscribers that if we hit the next level of sponsorship, that I would start doing two videos a week and we are getting really close. So I'm pretty confident in making a resolution to go ahead and start doing two YouTube videos a week. Oh man, uh, I think it'll be fun. And let's see, for number four, I've had three things promising to do more of something, so I should probably do less of something to make up for time. Um, let's see, there's video games. I could save like a thousand hours there, but Elder Scrolls Online is coming out in the spring, so no. Let's see, there's Netflix. I could get rid of that. It'd be another 500 hours or so, but Orange is the New Black is starting in the summer, I think, so that won't do. Um, Ooh. sleep. I could save what, like 2000, 3000 hours by giving up sleep, but I really like sleep. Okay. Number four, I resolve to finally figure out this time travel thing. Um, I'll start by watching every episode of Dr. Who. Um, so yeah, there you go. 2014. It's looking like a really good year. Have a good one, everybody.